Welcome to module seven. For module seven, we're going to be learning how to use the clone stamp tool. So I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to select part of the area where the moose is. Go ahead and select your rectangle marquee. Make sure you are on your background layer. If you're not on the background layer and you try to copy, it's, only, it's gonna copy part of the cow layer you're going to get this error. So again, make sure you have the background layer selected, Command-C to copy, Command-V to paste, and you can see that the moose layer is what pasted, the moose pasted. So I'm going to call it, actually that is not a moose, I think that's a reindeer. Let's move it over to this clone stamp tool. I'm going to Command-T to transform scale it down and now what we want to do i'm going to zoom in selecting the clone tool which is this tool right here keyboard shortcut is s what you want to do is first select an area where you want it to sample from so i'm going to click option and notice this little icon turns into a, like a target it turns into a target click once, let go of option, and then you can start painting. And notice where the plus is, that is where it's painting from. And notice if I go over here, it starts painting the leg of the deer, the reindeer. So I have to come back here and resample it again. Option, click once, then I can come here and resample it. I'm gonna sample some of the snow here because notice the color is a little bit different. So you can also select your rectangle marquee tool and see what happens if you use AI to fill it in. So I'm going to go to Window, Contextual Taskbar, and I'm going to click Generate a Fill. Let's see what happens. Generate. Okay, so it fills it in. It looks natural. This part a little here looks a little wonky, but for the most part, it looks really natural. But you can go ahead and play around with the clone tool. Make sure you have the deer layer selected again. Let's see what happens if I try to remove the deer in the back. Generate a fill. Okay, so it did a pretty good job. I mean, it completely changed my deer. So my deer looks a little funky. So what I can do is brush some of it out. So notice it has a mask as well. Since the mask is black, to remove part of the mask, I need to brush with white. So I'm going to go over here. I have really fuzzy edges and if I'm not careful it creates a very fuzzy edge and I don't want that so you can come in here and change the hardness that way I get a little bit less of a fuzzy edge okay so I'm actually going to take these two layers the one is the this deer and I'm going to group them and then I'm going to right click right click duplicate group I'm going to call it merge then I'm going to right click merge group that way it's flattened this area that the AI generated and the actual snow, it's flattened. That way I have more area to sample from. I'm going to make the hardness zero, size larger. That way I have more of a feather and the feather actually blends it a lot better. 
that way I don't have a hard edge. And I can come in here and just brush it in. So I was trying to clone from here and paint. So let me do that. So I'm going to try to get rid of this as well. Let's try AI, generate a fill. Nope, that is not what I want. Let's go to the next one. Ah, uh, a little bit better. Oh my goodness, these are all funny looking. No, I don't want any of these. Okay, forget it. I'm going to take that layer. Okay, so I'm just going to clone it out manually. I'm going to zoom out. Okay, so that looks a lot better. Looks like the snow is pretty much removed, but next I wanna clean up these edges. So I'm going to take the rectangle marquee tool, click the bottom corner, click and drag until it lines up with the top corner. I have, so there we go, I have it selected. I'm going to take all three of these, group it, and then select create a mask on the entire group. That way I don't have to flatten it. So there we go. I cleaned up the edges nicely, except for this area right here. Let me see. Uh-huh. So I'm going to take this and drop it into this layer as well. And when I did that, you can see it applied the mask. So there we go. That cleaned up the edges beautifully. And I still have all of the layers in our group. So go ahead and take a screenshot and turn it into a cadence. So take a screenshot, shift command four, 